Hello everyone, this is Donna of Prima Donna Crafts and I'm so happy to join you today and share this uh, lovely fabric mini album uh, that I've been working on for some while now. And those of you who have been visiting my blog has um, would have seen the sneak peek review of this mini album and um, it turns uh, it has turned out to be so different to what I had in mind. And there were times when I really wanted to give it up because um, it was, um, you know, it's my own uh, original idea. I didn't have any tutorials or anything to, to back me up. And um, I just had to work on it um, on my own. Um, the main thing is the binding system because um, the um, fabric mini albums that I've seen, um, you know, in different places, um, there, there is a binding system which and I'm not sure how uh, they do it and um, I decided to use the bind it all and see if it, it would work because you know uh, on fabric and um, the main thing that I've learned is uh, to use material that does not fray so it did work for this sort of fabric mini album so I'll just quickly run through um, the front cover um, I love this motif. I've been holding it for um, a few years now and I finally decided I need to do something with it. So this lovely fairy-like creature here, you know, I love the colours and I wanted to do it justice. So I've got a bit of uh, trimming, lace trimming, which I, you know, um, used from a doily to sort of crown the top of her hair. She's got some lovely... Uh, a lovely crown of fruits, I think. Um, and then I've added some pearl buttons at the top and then this lovely pearl trimming. I hope the camera is picking it up. And then some lovely lace running down the side, topped off with um, uh, some lovely crystal uh, beads. And I believe this lace is from Finnebar. And then if you go down to the bottom of the front cover you've got all these lovely pearls pearl buttons I mean and then I've managed to even make a heart embellishment lay different kinds of heart shapes um, sizes I mean and then I've um, blanket stitched this um, piece and then of course you see the pearl binding I've added a lovely um, um, trim, a shabby chic looking uh, burlap trim and then hung loads of um, charms and uh, which I've made, uh, mostly made but this is of course purchased and this is the Tim Holtz key which I've added the um, uh, inside um, which comes with the set and then I've made this lovely pearl hanging as well as this and the lovely bird's nest which I so love to make. So that's the front cover and the back cover looks like this. It's simple but um, you know um, I really love the way the whole book turned out in the end. So when you open it um, I've got this lovely pocket and some trimming and then, of course, one of those flowers from Finnebear. And then I added a bit of trimming here. Um, more trimmings and lace at the top and buttons. And inside the pocket, I've got some lovely tags, which are from uh, Prima Marketing. And they're called printables. Lovely, lovely vintage looking tags. So you can add more and this is also from another Prima collection which is um, five designs. Well, you see it there, you know, the print is so small. Debutante, that's what it's called. So handy to have this, uh, it saves a lot of time and especially this is double sided. And you can add that click of color as well. So. Um, the tags are there. You know, the thing about fabric albums is because you add the motives, you know, sometimes um, the decoration and the embellishments take over and there's no space to do anything else. So this page, I really love the, the colours and the way it came uh, through. 
Uh, again, another lovely motive. I think she's a gypsy woman. Love the colors. It sort of blended in with the other page. And then um, the trimmings are about the same. Uh, you know, the lace uh, with the pearl buttons and then more lace here. And then a butterfly trimming and then lace at the bottom too. And this motif is actually one of my favorites. I think it's from Michelangelo. I printed it off uh, the internet on a piece of um, fabric. But this I did years ago. And, you know, yesterday I was trying to do something similar and I couldn't. I don't know if um, my husband changed the photocopier. I don't know if that has got anything to do with it. But I can't get um, to do this again. So I'm so disappointed, you know. And I can't remember what I did. <laughs> so that's the best part. Um, so um, some more trimmings. I'll probably put this down. There's some trimmings here with the flowers and more trimmings at the top. Uh, I love the page, the way it came um, together. And even this page, you know, it was a bit of struggle initially. But then, you know, the colors, uh, you know, the material, the you know, um, the basic material is so um, flowery just needed to keep it simple and I thought you know once I try to figure out how to do this then I might add um, go back and add you know motives like this or just um, keep it the way it is it's so pretty so here is another motive this is actually one of the first pages I made so the colors are very basic I didn't dye the um, um, the trimming and looking back I know that it would have been a lot better if I had done so but nevertheless you know you learn as you go along so um, it's simple but I think you know it's it's fine it fits into the book here again another simple page um, and this the I love the way the flower turned out you know I had to experiment and get the colors to match the page and even this is sort of um, dyed with all kinds of um, tea and um, I think one of those mists as well so lovely colors so here again simple but effective I've used some trimming um, dyed this rose that I had in my stash and then um, as well as these lovely lace trimmings all the hand dyed and uh, likewise here, you know, lovely trimming, uh, headed moustache, didn't know what to do with it and it came together nicely in this page and the colours of the flowers brought, uh, added the lovely cherry on top kind of thing. So pretty. And I suppose this is one of my favourite pages. You know, I like the simplicity plus the how the colors all blended in with a page. And of course, this is a pocket, as you can see. So I've added the burlap with some lace trimming and the page, the, the fabric is so um, pretty. So all I needed to do was to add these lovely tags, which I talked to you about earlier and stick it in. And then you have the... It, it works as an embellishment as well, adds another dimension and um, layer to the whole page. And I left the last page simple. And again, there's a lot of room for doing whatever you like in this um, mini album. So with that, uh, I'll leave you. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you're interested in um, the uh, photographs, I'll be posting in my mini album some photos. And uh, see you there. Thank you so much. Bye for now.